Here he, he's back. Harper. Harper. We're, we're going to roll into a segment here. We hope that you can stay with us because this is something that you wanted to talk about. At this Thanks. point, no, at this point, <laughs> um, we have all witnessed the, the 54 seconds of terror in AEW, and we now know why Tony Khan feared for his life. Uh, at the backstage shenanigans at Wembley Stadium, when uh, when um, CM Punk went mad and made everyone um, fear for their lives, Harper, what was your take on that? I, I was like, I can't believe he survived. Well, who's he's he? A survivor. Who's he? Tony Khan. Oh yeah, because I mean, it, there was danger was everywhere, so I wasn't yes. sure who you were talking about. Danger, stranger. Goddamn so now let me pronouns. Ask, let me ask you this: What? We're gonna have you break down the whole thing because there's not a lot to break down. I mean, How, what would you say if, for those who don't watch AEW or those who are upset or who didn't just didn't see it? You know. How would you describe the 54 seconds that was shown on the air? What what happened there? Uh, CM Punk was speaking with uh, Jungle Boy. And you could tell they were getting kind of heated because the guy, I, I think it's Audrey Edwards and the other ref, they're sitting there watching. And you can tell like on the look of their faces, they're like, oh, okay, this shit's getting heated. And then that's... Uh, would it? I mean, it's not much to say. He he fucking shoved Jungle Boy, and then he got him in a, a little chokehold or something for like five seconds, and then okay. uh, and then Samoa Joe came up and kind of pulled him apart. And then you saw the fucking the fucking monitors kind of get knocked down. And then you see Tony Khan's hand like a zombie coming out the ground for the for the. For the from the uh, thriller video, fucking grab the fucking monitor to keep it from from uh, falling. And then CM Punk told him something, and then they uh he they got him out the area. CM Punk before he could hurt anyone else, right? And then Jungle okay. Boy called called better help, and I heard he's doing better. <laughs> okay. Okay, well, that's a free plug for our friends over there that don't pay for it. Um, so, so would you say that anybody that we could see on that screen did anything to be fired? No. Okay. Hell no. It's just, it's would you say that? Would you say that CM Punk? embellished or lied on his appearance on Ariel Hawani's show? Negative. Okay. It was all pretty spot on. Okay. Mike, so, do you agree with Mike? Do you agree with that? I just want to state for the record, I'm exhausted with the whole Mike is doing this, this topic. The only reason but, Mike is participating in this is because Harper said he wanted to. So that's why no, I'm taking Mike's like, bro, did you see that shit? I'm like, no, oh, yeah, no, it's it, it, it's times. it's dumb. It's let me tell you why it's dumb. I've railed on Cornette on this show about giving free plugs to that organization a million times. And while I didn't mind talking about Punk's interview, it's a little different. We were talking about another podcast. Now we've just ventured into mud show bull crap with the same old thing. I, I I've literally said for years on this show, I don't want to be like certain podcasts. And just talk about things that I hate. This was this this whole thing is dumb. It it, it wasn't a fight. See, it's like re, is, it's like it's, revisiting it's, stupidity was, over and over again. You can't ignore this though. That's the problem. You can't ignore it. Why do you say it, that? Because it was. This was the most stupid. I'm not talking about the little fucking little shoving match or whatever. I'm talking about showing this on your television. Mm. This was the most stupidest thing, probably since like the finger poke of doom. 
this was the dumbest thing I've I've seen in maybe ever since I've been watching wrestling. Because oh, like, brah, that, co- that covers know. a lot of ground. But the thing is, people bring up, oh, what about Shockmaster? He didn't mean to fall through the fucking uh, wall. <laughs> he fucking That's tripped. True. It was in, he was an accident. I mean, don't get me wrong. Even if he did bust through the wall like he was supposed to, it it it, it would have been goofy. It wouldn't have been embarrassing or stupid. But this was done on purpose. They thought they were doing something great with this. Well, they and- were wrong. Well, their ratings went up 9% from the previous week. Yeah, whoop the fucking do, bro. I, I'm, I'm just playing devil's advocate because you yeah. just don't see the emails I get from people telling me we're old and we need to die and they wish my kids yeah. death and my wife death because we're being critical of an organization that they love. I'm just saying I'm playing devil's advocate here. The ratings went up 9% and everything's great over there. But the thing is, it's not only that they aired this it's when it's over he ain't gonna fuck you again he ain't he ain't fucking with you anymore move on nine months late now if you were still working there and you aired this nine months ago okay i could see you're working an angle we're doing wrestling here he's gone you can't benefit from this at all. And I don't understand. Bro, I, the look on Tony Schiavone's face says it all. God. I, I, I mean, that was it. It, it. And he's just, because he is from the wrestling world. Not this shit. For the and record, you know, Tony Schiavone says... Everybody in the on the internet, Twitter, and all the people saying that he made a, made a face and and you know didn't like it. Tony Schiavone says all those people saying that need to shut the hell up. It that it was a, it was everything can be a still shot. You can make a meme out of nowadays. You can make you make a you can make a still shot look like anything. Tony Schiavone denies any. I'm just saying Tony Schiavone on the record. I listened to the clip right before the show. From his show, he said he it, it, it's people making a mountain out of a molehill, and basically he told all those people doing that and saying that to f off. He loves AEW, and everything's great. I'm I, hey, I, look, I'm just listen to me. I'm just giving you the other side because that's their point of view and their reference. That was Tony's reference, and I love Tony Giovanni. I will always love Tony Schiavone. I don't care that he works there. I think Tony Schiavone's great. I'm just telling you what he said when asked about the memes being created in the still shot of his face. That's yeah. Okay. Right. Right. So to Harper, what's the next angle they're going to shoot with this? Nothing. You, you can't. You can't do anything with this. It's over. It's, and, it's and, just like... And they, it, say, it, they say, oh, well, this was a part of our history. And they're, and bruh, but y'all still bringing up that fucking Wembley Stadium shit, bruh? Y'all still talking about that. And it's like, and it's almost like if, like, Vanderbilt shocks the world and they beat Bama. Holy shit, Vanderbilt beat fucking number one Alabama. But the next week they lose against Kentucky. And the next week they lose the homecoming game against East Carolina. Then they lose again against Florida. Then they lose again against Georgia. Then they lose again again. It's the same old Vanderbilt. Y'all got lucky one time. But y'all still keep bringing up, well, you know what? We did beat Alabama that one. That was then. We're talking about now. Y'all are garbage since then. And that's what this is. Stop bringing up Wembley, bro. It, it, I, dude, it just move on from this shit. And I, you know what, Doc? I sent Mike this on Facebook. And I, you probably haven't seen Wayne's World in fucking forever, right? 
Right. <laughs> that clip there was, was hilarious. There's a scene where <laughs> Wayne's girlfriend will not move on from him. And she keeps bothering him and bothering him and stalking him and stalking him. And I was like, this is AEW. They're still they're still trying to ride on the CM Punk shit. And 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 he's moved on to a better woman than you. And y'all are pissed off about it. Because because he said the truth that you're a fucking cokehead whore that doesn't work and you had your kids taken away from you by the state. Mike, how much hate mail is that going to get you? I mean, and then, uh, okay, again. no, 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 okay. There's wait, there's more. So, <laughs> are you Oprah? You get a I'll ring. You this. get a car. You, you crazy? You tuned in for this? I there was no way I was tuning in for it. The only yes, reason I saw the footage I, is because my 19 year old comes out the room and goes, "Did you see this bull crap?" I'm like. I was trying to stay away from it, but go ahead and tell me because I'm not going to tell you don't Here's talk to me. Thing. And he shows I, me the video, and that's when I got hot. I saw the video where someone, I don't know, someone on Facebook put their phone up to the actual TV, and they filmed it. I was like, bro, I ain't watching it like this. This had to happen. I want to see this in the real time, in the real world, so I know exactly what the fuck I'm looking at. So I, I was, I saw, like, the, I mean, this was afterwards. And it was, it, it, I guess, on on a Hulu, you can watch the AEW whenever the shit you want. So I was like, oh, okay, it's over with, but I'm going to watch it to see if it's on there, right? I click it on, and I see, what's his name? Akata. Akuma Makata. Which means Okada. Akata. Jesus Christ. And... <laughs> I got that. And... Uh. I said, he looks like Cody Rhodes. So I was like, oh, damn, he does look like an Asian Cody Rhodes. And this motherfucker, they, well, not, they have him work with a jobber. And this job guy was the worst jobber I have seen in my fucking life. Well, that's saying a lot, Hopper, because we've seen some, we've seen some dudes. you got to see this motherfucker, dude. <laughs> it's bad. He starts giving Okada strikes, and they look like shit. And the guy's hollering while he's giving it, and Okada's not selling it because it, it's it's so stupid. He's not even attempting to sell it. And you can see the look on Okada's face. It's like, why am I in the ring with this motherfucker? It's that fucking bad. Maybe we need an AEW review show with Harper. No. Yeah, and then, no, and no. then finally the guy comes back. He starts giving him strikes. You could see the look on Akata's face like, are you fucking being for real? Like, I'm in this situation right now. And then eventually he just beats him and he pins him. Wait, there's more. FTR comes out and they cut in. And, and what's the guy? Peck, whatever the fuck his name is, comes out. Peck. Uh, Pock. Pock. P- 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 oh, P- Pock. P- 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 I don't know what the fuck his name is. Pock, Pock, Pock. Yeah. yeah. Okay. He comes out. And there's, you know, the FTR and it's the Young Bucks. They're going to go at it, right? And the Young Bucks have chairs or Akata's chair. Because I'm, like, I'm not watching this shit again to fucking get the real. The, the, and I heard something I've never heard before. In professional wrestling, bro. Ever. They give FTR a chair shot. And that building was so empty. You could hear an echo from the fucking chair shot. I was like, holy shit. There's an echo from the chair shot. And there was about 2,000 people in this... 10 to 15,000 seat building, bruh. And it was, there was an echo from the chair shot. And the crowd reaction, dude, I, the two, 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 two whatever, 2,000 people in there, bro, they must have made eye contact with fucking Medusa, bruh, because they all turned to statues and did nothing. They just sat there. And I was like, are you fucking kidding me, bruh? 
I felt embarrassed and like like a, 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 like what the fuck is this? So when no will one... you be watching? When will you be watching AEW again? I'm not watching this again. Why not? I, I I never saw this ever in my life, bro. An echo from a chair shot. I've never heard that before. Not on the indies of a wildcat or anything. I've never heard an echo from a chair shot. I'm, I'm thinking this is fucking TBS. And I'm looking, there's there's Okada, one of the big guys, there's the young. I'm like, bro, what the f are you being fucking for real? There's nobody in this motherfucker. And the crowd is not reacting to anything. And I'm like, Jesus Christ, dude. This explains everything in a fucking nutshell. This is it. This is this is this explains their fucking problems. Okay. So and, and they used the fucking CM Punk shit. Like that was their draw for. They're like, we got this shit, baby. Release the fucking Kraken. And it was a fucking <laughs> and it was a fucking garfish in fucking West Espanay Canal. That's what they fucking released. <laughs> the international audience, along with everybody not from the south and or South Louisiana, has no clue what that analogy means. <laughs> the garbage. I couldn't believe, bro. An echo from a chair shot in that job I watched guy. It. I watched the the backstage stuff and thought they should all be ashamed for this. Nobody should have been bragging about that shit. They should have burned the tape and moved on. Let let, yeah. let Harper finish. Let her finish. Yeah, and, I, I do. I, I couldn't, dude. That fucking it, that that whole segment was a fucking shit show. Where that that fucking job guy should not have been there. He was bad, dude. It was it was it was embarrassing bad. He shouldn't have been there. The Harper, fucking, what? Go ahead. No, go ahead. I, I got. I do have. I do have a question for you. I mean. Everything about this, nothing about this said, boy, I should keep watching this. Nothing about it said, boy, I can't wait to see what happened. Nothing, dude. And I turned that bitch off and I put it on fucking Who's the Boss. And I don't watch Who's the Boss fucking reruns, bro. There I, you got my, go. I got my uh, Samantha Maselli fix. Okay, so uh, for... God, for bro. For for everybody, see, here's the thing. So you made a statement about, you know, they're showing this nine month after they can't move on from punk. So my, my thought is, you know, for all the people, because, again, I, I hear from people. Right. OK. Um, they don't. A lot of people, they, they are respectful AEW fans. Let me be clear. Good. Um, I'm and, glad to hear that. And I appreciate that. But then I then 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 we get the ones that want you know like I said they want me dead they want my wife and kids dead oh, yeah? they're just unhinged yeah man it's these people are people are unhinged in the world nowadays but that's a, that's a story for a different day like everybody's unhinged they they work themselves into a lather too much over things that don't need to be worked into a lather I had planned on if we had time tonight but we're running long with this segment. To, to 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 share something with y'all that I thought would really give y'all a kick, but we'll have, we might have to save that for another day unless we have time at the close of this one. But my, going back to Punk though, th there are the AEW fans that they say, "Well, Punk brought them up. You know, Punk was the one who who brought this up again." And the the AEW Edge, because I heard he did a promo. Still don't know what he really said, but I've I've seen uh, people say it didn't wasn't all that great but edge did a promo in the previous week and then this week or, or this past week they aired the footage from wembley and they're weaving that that footage into the storyline with ftr and the young bucks so but there are people who are saying because you were saying how's this work i'm just saying from their point of view it's 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 made it to a storyline but there are people who are saying well wait all they're doing is reacting to what punk said so they're just like you know they're not taking it lying down they're reacting to what he said to the to the people who say that what do you say because i mean he did bring them up and he did talk about it although he was asked about it 
he was asked. It wasn't like he went on YouTube live himself and decided to air his grievances. He was asked the question, which that's been my argument too. Mullen and Morton asked me about a uh, Mercedes Monet's debut there. And I was like, I've, I didn't see it. I don't care. I don't want to watch it. I don't, Jesus could be handing out miracles and I'm not going to watch. And then I had a, uh, couple snarky people jump into my tweet saying well you don't have to bash it if you you know just stay in your lane hey idiot i was asked a question from question from a listener that i was answering someone so to the people who tell you hopper but they're just responding to what punk did and said what do you say to that but the thing is where did punk respond to this at on a podcast with Ariel Hawani. On someone else's podcast. He didn't say this on, on fucking Raw. He didn't use up fucking TV time. He said this on someone else's fucking shit, bro. And they so, were chewing up their own TV time just to fucking... Yeah, fuck him. Oh boy, wait till we do this. So the and rule bro, is... Bro, the, if if, if asked elsewhere... Of that term, living rent-free in someone's head... That you say all the time, this is it, bro. This is it. Because they, they I mean, got pissed off the shit when fucking when, uh, 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 Will Osprey was, oh, sh- talking shit to like the Triple H and all. I'm like, bro, like, what do you, what? What are you doing? Are you wasting your own TV time on bullshit like that, bro? Yes. When you got a pay per view, y'all got a pay per view coming up, bro. And y'all are airing grievances. Y'all are airing grievances. Y'all can't do a damn thing about instead of furthering stories, telling stories, and and creating some personal issues with people that can solve it on my, with that I can see. Yes, and they have no, and it's and it's obvious they don't give a shit about if there's one person or or fucking uh, you know ten thousand people in there because to get to get that petty, bruh, get to, it. And then what's the saying? It's the wounded dog that fucking hollers the loudest. I mean, you proved them right then. Because if it wasn't about you, I mean, you wouldn't have said shit. Okay, so hold on. Let, let's so Harper to to finish this up. What should AEW have done? Is he talking? I don't know. Harper, you there? Wait, yeah, wait. All right. Yeah. What What should AEW have done in this scenario? Nothing. <laughs> That's the right answer. Nothing. He's fucking somebody else now. Stop driving by his house. Leave that man alone. Leave that man. Stop, stop going on his Facebook and like, oh, look, oh, look. He tagged himself at the movie seeing Godzilla. Who in the fuck is he seeing that movie with? That fucking bitch. Oh, look, he tagged himself at the swamp room. Who's he there with, that fucking motherfucker? Like, like, move on, bruh. Yeet. Yeet. The rent, the rent free thing is, is, (laughs) the rent free thing is, is, is interesting because I think there are times when that applies and doesn't apply. Like, I always say this, you know, because Cornette lathers up the AEW fans nonstop. It's like, it's, it's in, he constantly, and I mean, you could just look at the numbers he does on YouTube, man. It's ridiculous. But I always say to those people, stop, stop listening to him. Stop giving his words credence because you're basically feeding the machine. But in fairness, In fairness, I can say that's what we're doing right now, too, by talking about this dumb shit. Bruh, I can't help about what I saw on fucking TV. That's supposed to be this big-time wrestling promotion that comes on a major cable channel three times a goddamn fucking week, bruh. I couldn't, I couldn't, my, I couldn't believe what the fuck I was seeing. And Tiffany goes, why is it so dark in there? I said, because there's nobody in that motherfucker, so they're trying to hide it. Every time Fair I enough. turn it over, somebody that's in my house is like, what's this? And they say it just like that. They don't know what they're yeah. seeing, but they know it's not good. Yeah. Yeah, it's just I couldn't be I couldn't believe about what in the fuck I saw. 
And I said, I can't, I, I'm not watching this anymore. I was like, okay, well, I must have missed it when they aired the the footage. I was like, okay, I'm done. This is, this is fucking bullshit. This is fucking bullshit. <laughs> With that shitty job guy in the echo chair shot, you know? And I'm like, dude, fuck. I was like, what the? no, no, no. Bye. Goodbye. <laughs> You're you're done with him finally. Like I've I'm told done, you, bro. I'm not hate watching. What well, uh, you're done until they air more punk footage is what I'm no, hearing. No, no, no. You gotta stand so like like I, I, it's it's they they can't get you again. It's over with. Now what? They blew their load, and their load oh. was just a little drop. Bloop. Two poops. Yeah. Oh, is that it? Yeah. Oh God. I'm sorry. It just doesn't happen all the time. That's what that was like. I'm sorry. <laughs> oh. Oh, well, dude. thanks for that expert analysis. I'm glad you watched the show so that we didn't have to. Uh, oh, Mike, are we ready to talk 1992? Oh, I, I, I got to say, I didn't think Hopper would go that long, but he really did. I was hey, like, show us, they, show us on the Tony Khan doll where they touched you, Harper. <laughs> <laughs> I just to, to wrap it up. I, I I always say this, man. I I want that organization to succeed because I think the wrestling business is better when there's at least alternatives. I don't even want to call it competition, but I think wrestling is better. I think we all know what it's like when there's only one big game in town, when that monopoly is a real thing. Man, we saw the WWE just go into a, an abyss for what I felt was many years outside of a couple of different angles once there was no more WCW and they were the only game in town. So I think, I firmly believe you got to have some viable alternatives. One, there's places for talent to work. Two, there's leverage. I know the talent loves the fact, even guys who have no intention of ever going to AEW, I'm sure they love the fact that there's an AEW there. That way they can, when it's time to negotiate, it's like, hey, you know, I, I got options. They, they didn't have options before. Sure, you might say at one point in time, TNA and Impact were, were an option, but I mean, Eh, it got to a point where that died out and fizzled pretty quickly, even though they're still around. I mean, from a viable standpoint of contract and money, but I I want them to succeed, man. And it's painful when, um, the, the, that product, they aren't in. doing anything to help themselves be successful. No. Yeah. And the WWE, bro, they could get in the ring right now and just take a shit and gold bricks will fall out their ass. They can't do no wrong right now. Which is unreal to think about when I think of when we started this show in 2015 and how much we would complain yeah. about some of the stuff that they did. It's like, wow, times do change given enough time. It's it's really under. I was thinking about it last night. I was watching Raw, which wasn't the greatest Raw of all time, but I was like, Man, WWE's gotten so much better. And if you'd have told me that when we started this in 2015, that they would have another, like, I don't want to call it golden era, but like a really high point era, I would have never, I would have never dreamed of it. If you'd have told me you were going to be blowing Paul in this era, I would have been surprised. I've come all, all the way around on him, man. I mean, he's. He, he, he should he's calling bricks. it pro wrestling, bro. He's yeah, calling it pro wrestling. <laughs> the dude who said sucker and who was, what was, I don't know, sucker and succotash. Sucker and succotash. The dude who said that became, and, and we used to say that back then about Roman. We were like, it's not him. He's got the talent. But he became this megastar. Like, I'm just saying it is unreal. And you know what? I firmly believe a piece of them doing so great is the fact that there was an alternative. People forget when they introduced Bray Wyatt as um what was the when he was the mask guy? Um, 
what was he? What were they calling him? What was his name? I have no idea. Oh, when he wrestled that first. Ma- oh God, I can't. The uh, fiend. Anyway, the yeah, fiend. the fiend. When he when he when he was the fiend in that cage match, it ended bad, and the fans were chanting AEW in a WWE ring at that pay per view slash premium live event or whatever the hell they want us to call them now. There were AEW chants in the WWE ring and WWE arena. We've gone from that to where we are now with the WWE being hotter than six suns in the midst of, I would say one of their greatest scandals, but they've had many over the years in the midst of the Vince McMahon saga in scandal and allegations like all that happened like during that same time at freaking crazy to think about so there's hope when you're at the bottom of the barrel AEW. there's hope that you can pull the nose up on the plane lord knows hey, your hey, owner has enough money a, to do so when you're in a hole stop digging just saying they got enough money to do so anyway on that note, we are going to finally move to part two of uh, we're going to finally move to part two of November 7th, 1992.